A strike launched by the union representing Harvard graduate students concluded on the 30th of October after three days of picketing leading up to the university's parents' weekend. We've made certain demands to have uh, raises that uh, outpace the rate of inflation, which was very high last year, um, as well as reforming some of the university's harassment and discrimination procedures, which we think are disadvantaging student survivors right now, uh, and uh, an agency shop to make sure we have a strong, healthy union in the future. The Harvard Graduate Students Union United Automobile Workers, which has been working without a contract since the 1st of September, began the strike on Wednesday after negotiations with the universities on three major issues, racist, harassment and discrimination protections and union security were unsuccessful. If I were to find a contract with the university right now, I would be um, living a substandard um, quality of life. Um, I have several friends that like need that money in order to support their family, their friends, to pay their medical expenses. Um, and so it's just like it's personally very um, harmful for me because I see so many of my colleagues and my peers and my friends and my loved ones unable to make a living based on what Harvard is giving us. The union formed picket lines in Cambridge near Menshaw Hall, the Science Centre, Smith Campus Centre and Massachusetts Hall, where the offices of university president are located. Across the Charles River at Harvard's Longwood Medical Campus, picket lines circle in front of the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. During morning picketing in Cambridge, Harvard University Police Department Chief's aide John Fulkerson told strikers at Menshaw Hall that they had to stop picketing on university property. Fulkerson later told strikers inside of the Science Centre to make a smaller picketing circle to leave more space for people to get through, or else he would arrest picketers. For the entire morning, student workers of Harvard universities have been giving out leaflets like this. The student union says the reason researchers are on strike is because Harvard University has refused to offer much needed resources to help student workers to go against discrimination and harassment. The main one that I'm really striking for is better protections for sexual harassment and discrimination. So the Title IX office, historically at Harvard, has demonstrated that it is not in a very good position to protect victims of sexual harassment and discrimination, and that it's much more invested in trying to protect Harvard and its reputation and the reputation of its professors. Around 11.30 a.m., many undergraduate students walked out of class to join HGSU UAW members filling Harvard Yard with union chants before filling into the Science Centre Plaza for a rally. After marching through Cambridge, picketers returned to the Science Centre Plaza, where various Harvard social justice groups set up tables. The union claimed the strike disrupted classes that enroll approximately 2,900 undergraduates in total. A slew of classes across the college, the Kennedy School, the Graduate School of Education and the Law School have seen walkouts or cancellations during the strike. Well, like cost of living increases in Cambridge and Somerville have been on the order of like 4% over the last year and the raise that they initially offered us this summer was 0%. So we would actually be making less. We're still in negotiations with the university and uh, we hope we can reach a contract soon. Boston mayoral candidate Michelle Wu, who later won the historic election and became the first female Asian American mayor of the city, stopped by the picket line and voiced her support on Twitter. Sai Wu, China America Radio at Harvard University.